Welcome back. An FDA advisory panel recommending pediatric doses of Pfizer's vaccine for kids as young as five years old. But the decision does not mean that kids can start getting those shots right away. ABC's Faith Abube explains what happens now. Mm -hmm. A crucial hurdle in the push to vaccinate American children now overcome. Nearly all 18 members of the FDA's advisory panel signing off on pediatric doses of Pfizer's COVID vaccine. Only one deciding not to weigh in with a vote. We don't want children to be dying of COVID, even if it is far fewer children than adults, and we don't want them in the ICU. Data shows children ages 5 to 11 make up nearly 2 million of the COVID cases recorded so far during this pandemic. 8,300 have been hospitalized across the country, a third of them in the ICU. Pfizer says just a third of its adult dose is 91% effective at protecting children in that age group against symptomatic disease. That's an incredible finding. That's actually more effective than a lot of routine childhood vaccines we use. The FDA committee agreeing with Pfizer that the pediatric doses are safe. But I didn't see any red flags in the data. But one barrier crossed, a few more to go. The FDA director still needs to sign off on the advisory panel's decision. Then a CDC advisory panel and its director also need to weigh in before kids can start getting shots in arms. All that is expected to happen by the end of next week. You want to go back to school? Go back to school. And see While friends. some parents are looking forward to vaccinating their children, others remain unsure. A recent survey finds a third of parents with kids ages 5 to 11 plan to wait before getting their kids vaccinated. Another 24 percent saying they will definitely not vaccinate. You know, it's just a little child like who like I don't know how quick I will be to jump on a decision to do that. And new this morning, the CDC is now recommending another booster for those with weakened immune systems, saying they may need a fourth shot six months after their last dose. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.